guys welcome to your general reading for gemini this is going to be for july 2023 you can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything nothing specific we're just going to see what the cards have to say uh, so we're going to take a look and see what your guides your angels and your ancestors want you to know for july and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know look out for work on so apply this to your own unique situation okay keep in mind that uh, these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you you may take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when i go live also if you guys are interested in booking a personal not booking if you guys are interested in um Follow me on TikTok and also on Instagram. The links for those are in the description box below. I do uh, post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about um, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. What does Gemini's guides, angels, and ancestors want Gemini to know? What does Gemini's guides, angels, and ancestors want Gemini to know for July 2023 for Gemini? For Gemini. Whoa, Gemini. Um, two jumped out in the reverse, so I'm going to have to take it that way. But I'm just going to pull the rest, okay? We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse here. Mm. I, I feel like someone here is going through a string of bad luck here. But I do feel like there's an opportunity to turn that around. Yeah, I, I do feel like it does have to do with like people taking advantage of you or like people like sabotaging you or that you're sabotaging, you're sabotaging yourself. One of the things I'm getting is that I feel like, you know, I feel like you need to learn to choose who to bring into your life and who is doesn't belong into your life. It's basically using that discernment here, okay? Because I feel like, you know, I feel like you might be trying to be friends with everybody you know, without really vetting them, without getting to know them, or that you do know them and you just still, you know, have them in your circle, even though they're treating you in a very crappy way here. So, you know, I do feel like there's, uh, you know, there's possibility that, you know, you can change this here. That's if you want to here. You know, I could understand that some of the relationships that you've built, you know, these people for a long time here. But one of the things, you know, one of the things to really, try and accept to really try and allow to happen is that your body has an innate ability to reject people that do not belong in our life and your body has a, an ability to accept people that are meant to be in your life i just feel like you're hanging out with the wrong crowd here to be quite honest here gemini yeah there are certain people here that in your life that just don't have your best interests at heart here there are people that are trying to drag you down there are trying to pe uh, people that are trying to sabotage you here the sun card here and the lovers gemini energy this could also be that you're you know you're having a hard time perhaps releasing or moving on from a romantic relationship here too and it has a lot to do with what i just explained here okay so uh let's see what else we have here Tell me the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse here. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Ace of Wands here. You know, I do feel like what you've been through here, it's definitely going to make you stronger here. I do feel like you need to learn to have strong boundaries here with people. Yeah, strong boundaries with here with people. You know, there, you know, I, I feel like it's, you know, I feel like maybe perhaps you get in your head and I feel like you're trying to logical, logicalize it and rationalize it. But sometimes, you know, our bodies will tell us, no, Gemini, this is not for you. Don't do it. Yeah. And then other times, you know, your body will tell you, yeah, this is, this is great. Do it. All right. Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands. Six of Cups here and the Ace of Swords. 
it's time to make that final cut here. Yeah, just like make that final decision. Because you, you just, it's about acceptance here. It's about accepting that there are just certain people in your life that are just not to, meant to be in your life, you know, and that's part of life. That's part of the growth. Yeah, that's part of the evolution and the healing here. The sun, temperance here, Sagittarius energy, the lovers and the knight of cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, your guides and your angels and your ancestors are actually forcing you out here. Yeah, they're forcing you out here. They're really wanting you to just really connect with yourself and check in with yourself and ask yourself just a simple question. Does these people have a place in my life? Okay, so Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on here for... Um, July 2023 for Gemini. For Gemini. So we have the Four of Wands here and the Eight of Cups. There's someone, there's a situation here where someone here walked away from you. I just feel like there's a sense of like, you know, I, I feel like it could be a situation that you're walking away from somebody or people and you're trying to create your own happiness and your stability here, okay? Maybe you have to accept people walking out of your life here too. Yeah, it's, it's about acceptance here. We have the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups, okay? Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I, I feel like, you know, once you accept, you know, I do feel like, you know, once you accept, you will find, you know, that happiness, you know, I, because the resistance is actually creating, you know, unhappiness, dissatisfaction here, because you're expecting things to be a certain way. I think it's good to have, have expectations, but it, it really, it, it's, it, it varies. Yeah, it really depends on the situation. But, you know, some, 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 you know, some situations, you know, there shouldn't be any sort of ex expectations. Uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Four of Wands here, and the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups here, the Death. Yeah, this is about acceptance here. This is about acceptance. I feel like, I, I feel like there's a spiritual lesson that you need to learn here, Gemini. Yeah, your guides are like, hey, there's a spiritual lesson that you need to learn here, Gemini. And I feel like they want you to learn it. Death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, they want you to learn to accept that things do come to an end in life sometimes. You know, and it could be anything. Job ending, relationships ending, you know, death. Uh, maybe this is something that you struggle with here. The Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Cups here, and the Ten of Swords. You guys struggle with endings here. Yeah, you guys struggle with endings. You guys struggle with closing things out. Some of you guys might even have a hard time breaking up with people too. Yeah. Um, so the Eight of Cups here, the, the Queen of Cups here, Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands here. Keep in mind, even though like this reading is a lot like Gemini, you know, it could be like people in and around you that are going through this too. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, there's a sense of having a hard time moving on. I mean, you could be struggling to move on from like an actual romantic relationship here too. But I feel like this applies to like your friendships and stuff like that. So um, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.